Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. We're going to have a look at the Lockwood uh, mortise lock furniture. This is available on our lock shop. You can see the part number there. It's genuine Lockwood. I'll also take you through and show you what type of lock we're talking about. First of all, we'll start there. So this is a Lockwood mortise lock. Now these are very common on a lot of doors. They're not much fun to fit because you do have to carve out a lot of material. So this is the type of lock we're talking about here. This is a full body mortise lock and you can get a variety of different handles. You can get ones that just cover uh, the cylinder and then you can get ones that cover the cylinder and then you have the handle either knob or lever below. So this lock here is a standard 3572 Lockwood mortise lock available in our lock shop. Um, I won't take you through and uh, show you too much about that lock at the moment because this video here is about this handle. Now this handle is a privacy handle. You can use this handle on the inside when you want to lock the lock without using a key. Uh, change rooms, offices, anywhere that you just want to reach up, turn the lock so it's locked. Uh, you can do that from the inside using the handle which has a turn snip. Now this is all genuine NASA Abloy product so of course a, they're not cheap, and B, um, you do get good quality. Now this is the handle right here. First thing out of the box, um, comes in nice bubble wrap. You get two little screws here. Okay, I'm glad they give you two, not one, and they haven't stinged out because you only need one, but if you are on a job site and you drop one, you know, you can be spending hours looking for a little tiny screw to do it. There are a little tiny uh, metric screw right there. That goes in this section right here. Now this handle as it comes now, I can move the lever in any direction I want. It is spring loaded when I get to there and I pull down. And once again it is spring loaded when I get to there and I pull down. So if you want left handing, you simply put it to the left, turn it over, put a little bit of pressure on it so you've, it's spring loaded and you put your screw in right there. See that? That's where you put your screw in. So that would mean that the handle then can turn in this direction. If you want to hand it the other direction, you rotate it and you put the screw in there. So this plate here will stop it from going up, but will allow it to turn down that, that uh, 70 or 60 to 5 degrees. Okay, so that's the first screw. Next one is your tail pieces here. Okay, these tail pieces are for the turn snib. Take note there is a spring in there. These are fairly straightforward. Um, there's a split pin in there as well. So you get one spring, one split pin, and four different uh, tail pieces. They would go in here. You only need one of them, and you would then go into the lock from there. So here's your handle. You'd put your tail piece in there. You put your split pin through here. That would go into the lock and drive the uh, hub, which would then operate the lock. So you would turn it one way, turn it the other way, for locked and unlocked. It uh, does get a little bit more tricky than that to make the lock lock and unlocked. But I'll run through that in a minute with you. So just looking at the mechanism here, they've changed this from previous designs. Uh, looking at this right here, I can see some grease. They've already pre-greased it, which is quite good. This is a solid brass handle. Um, it is quite, quite good quality. Uh, you won't get much better. That's why Lockwood have been doing this for many, many years and uh, they're one of the most well-known locks in this type of format. So this section right here has a new green plastic device. It means all you've got to do is stick your tail piece in there, stick the split pin through, and then uh, put it onto your hub, which is inside the lock. I'll show you where the hub goes. Right here. Okay. So of course you've got your square drive that's that part there and it's got a spring on it now do take note the spring goes in first then the little metal piece I've seen people put them in back to front and it can cause a lockout situation and a lot of frustration okay so here is where your normal cylinders would go when you're installing a handle like this you would need an adapter instead of putting the cylinder in you would put the adapter in and then you would put the pin through looking at these instructions on the side of the lock this will tell you which side of the lock you want to actually be locked or unlocked. For example, if you lock it, whether it's with a key from the outside or a turn snip on the inside, that being the turn snip, by adjusting these, that will tell you which side of the lock handle is locked or unlocked. You could have it where when you turn it, both sides are locked. 
you can have it when you turn it only the outside is locked which is very common in fire exits or commercial premises so if you want to lock the outside it's fine but they always leave the inside free to exit at all times even if the outside or even if the lock is locked and the outside is locked so it's good to note um, that probably best just to do the outside handle so you would adjust this to suit which side of the door you want to actually lock going back to the handle here I'll give you some sizes for a bit of uh, measurement so we're talking about 43 millimeters my ruler only goes up to about 150 so it's probably about 160 millimeters the length of the lever I'm just measuring from side to side you're looking about 120 millimeters the height now which might be important to somebody I would estimate at about 44 or 43 so give it at least 45 to make sure that you've cleared that, that the handle there so that is uh, 3582 square sorry 3572 Lockwood square furniture with the inside turn snip okay and I'll quickly show you how that would sit over the top there so your spindle would be lining up to this part here and that would be operating you'd remove this plastic cover and put your insert in there and that would be operating just like that this handle lock sorry this handle and the locks are separate you buy your handles and then you buy your locks and then you buy your cylinders this is available from drlock.com.au go to our website which is under store and you can purchase all your lock products from there Thanks for watching.